All right, so you're an artist and you just stumble upon the mess that is the art community on TikTok. You've been drawing for a while now and you believe you're finally ready to take your art to social media. But the question is, what platform? There's a variety of platforms you can promote your art on. There's Instagram, Twitter, even Reddit. But I believe the best platform for trying to grow an audience, especially as an artist, is on TikTok. It's like the Hope Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> now, say what you want about TikTok. And believe me, there's a lot to say about it. But when it comes to presenting your content to as much people as possible in the shortest amount of time, TikTok is the best choice. Are you serious? Maybe you're new to TikTok, or maybe you've already been posting for a while. But one thing for sure is you're not getting any engagement. Now, everyone will be quick to tell you that your videos aren't the right length, maybe your sound isn't trending, or maybe you're not using the right hashtags, maybe it's because you aren't using a 4K high definition camera, or maybe you're just not posting at the right time. Now, these are all valid issues that may be hurting your engagement, and some of them may be even crucial. However, I think when it comes to the art scene on TikTok, I think the biggest thing that's hurting your engagement is just the content you're putting out. No more can you post minute and a half long time last videos and hope for the best, unless you're Van Gogh, and trust me, you're not. TikTok is ever-changing, which means the way you approach your content needs to be changed as well. The average TikToker's attention span is pretty short, so you have to keep your content short as well. I myself keep each clip at a max of two seconds, and even that's cutting it close. So what else can you do? There's a ton of variables that TikTok use to determine whether or not they're going to push your post onto the For You page. There are also a lot more unknown conditions that, when met, can drastically help your page out. I've been on TikTok for a little over half a year now, and in a four month period, I grew from 1,000 to 100,000 followers. I bet I know what you're thinking. How did this get this? Well, that's why I'm here. I'm going to tell you all the do's and don'ts I learned as a growing creator on the platform. So without further ado, let us commence forth. Out of all the tips in this video, this is probably the most important step. The type of content you make has a massive effect on who engages with your page. We've already established we're no da Vinci? Da Vinci? So we know our art won't get views by itself. You have to think about what trends you can hop on, what's popular in the world right now, what shows are airing. For me in particular, I draw anime, so I focus on anime which are airing and go from there. I had gotten to 1,000 followers solely by luck. I had a Komi-san time-lapse get just under 9,000 views, yet my channel went right back to gaining 3 followers a day. I figured it was probably my editing, or my sound choice, but I knew these areas were all pretty solid, so I was lost. Where am I? Until my friend, who had only a little over 100 followers, posted this video. <laughs> 2 million views. There it was. Maybe instead of posting plain drawings with plain transition effects, I could make more comedy-oriented content. So, I came up with a bunch of ideas and wrote them down. The Chainsaw Man manga, highly recommended by the way, was just gaining popularity, so I brainstormed ideas for videos surrounding it. Here's what I came up with. How the Chainsaw Man fandom draws Makima. First start with simple face guidelines. Then move on to the torso. Note her pants start on her waist. Now her thigh- <laughs> Not bad. Finally, my followers started to rise. Careful not to let the steam die out, I posted a whole host of videos with art and anime related jokes. And then I posted this video. Such a simple joke. Maybe you didn't even laugh over eight and a half million views. So what can you take from this? Yes, show your art, be proud of it. Maybe you'll get some views, but making short comedic videos alongside that is a tried and true way of increasing engagement. Find your niche and build content for them. Chances are they'll see your funny video, go to your profile, see your wonderful art, and then follow. Now, I know this one seems like a total lie, but really, likes do not matter. Take your like count, divide that number by your views. If you have over a 10% like ratio, your video is more than capable of going viral. Of course, if you're not getting any likes, then there might be something wrong with your video. But trust me, it will not affect how TikTok promotes the content. The algorithm is focused on one thing and one thing only. Watch times. Go to settings, become a creator, turn on analytics, and you can see all the engagement stats of your recent videos. Check the number under average watch time. If this video is larger than your video length, it should have already gone viral by now. Now, how can you increase your watch times? 
keep your videos short and concise. We previously noted that the average TikTok user has the attention span of a caterpillar. So, your clip should be anywhere from 1 to 2.5 seconds. When you reveal the drawing at the end, don't hold the shot for 5 seconds. The second someone sees the finished product, they're already swiping away. So keep it short, keep it engaging. Now this one is very important, so listen up. There's a period where I went from a guaranteed 2,000 plus views on all my videos in an hour to a mere 30 views. I kept posting, thinking it was just a drop in the algorithm and it would clear up eventually. It didn't. I had no idea what the problem was, so every time I posted, I would just change my vid length, my hashtags, my post times, but nothing was working. Then it came to me. I don't know how I came to realize it, but I realized that if your feed looks like this, and you post this, then TikTok will promote your art to people who like this, therefore completely ignoring your content. So, all I had to do was tidy up my For You page. Once it was all art again, my views went back to normal and even better than before. So what does this mean? The content you engage with has a direct relationship with who views your content. If you want to look at this, well then just make another account. Save your art account for art only. Now these last bits of info are just common sense ones. Don't post at noon on a work day when no one is on their phones. Post early in the morning and early in the evening when people are getting ready for work or school or when people are getting home from work or school. Also, just engage with other people's content. Like, comment, engage in conversation. Make sure you're hopping on trends and trends specific to your niche. In this case, art trends. Make sure your videos are high quality. Put your camera on 60 FPS, not 30. Take your videos in good lighting. Sync your clips. Really, I do not know what people find so hard about syncing your transitions to the sound or music you're using. I don't know why everyone just forgets to do it. If someone sees a clean video with clean effects and transitions, then they'll be way more inclined to like it. Anyways, a lot of the algorithm just boils down to common sense. Don't be a douche. Don't go around criticizing people's work. Engage positively with others' content and just have a good time. The second your content creation feels like a job, you'll get major burnout and you'll grow to hate it. Trust me. So just focus on making content you want to make. You don't have to respond to every single person's comment and be posting four times a day. There's no need for a post schedule. Post when you're comfortable. As an artist, you want to prioritize quality over quantity. Draw when you want to draw, and post when you want to post. And again, just have fun. If you made it this far into the video, first of all, I'd like to thank you for sticking around to the end. Also, go check out the Discord. All our members are extremely supportive of everyone's art, so be sure to check it out. Make sure you follow all my other socials, which will all be linked down below. Also, how on earth do you get engagement on Twitter? Who knows, maybe when I crack that code, I'll make a video on that as well. Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.